Darrell Jazz Johnson here with uh, a man that needs no do no introduction. Uh, former sports editor for the paper that I write for the New York Beacon. Uh, has a radio show now as well. Doc, the question of catch weights has, has come up for this fight. What do you think about catch weights? What's your opinion on, on catch weights in boxing? I mean, listen, uh, I think you should fight at, how can you be the middleweight champion of the world and you're not fighting at middleweight? Okay, so that's the question that you asked and is like, but it seems to be, it's in vogue today. Talking to Freddie Roach the other day, he says it's always been around, yeah, Freddie, but nobody ever used it. Uh, but it's become the thing, and I don't think, when's the last time Mayweather's fought at a non-catch weight? Uh, Cotto's fighting at a catch weight again. So it's become what's in vogue. And what you said, you know, it's not about working harder, it's working smarter. Everybody wants an advantage. We just had this whole big thing about the flake game mm -hmm. with Tom Brady. Does that take away from being one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time? No. And if you, want, you always want the edge, okay? You know what I mean? If, if, if I can, can get an edge on you, the bottom line is not if you, how you play the game, it's to win the game. Jackie Robinson's great quote, above all else, I hate to lose, okay? So, I mean, uh, the great ones didn't use the catch away. But that's not to say that it wouldn't have been advantageous. Remember, a basketball player said, you know, has steroids been around in my day? Maybe I would have used it. But I, I think if you're going to adhere to the legacy of the game, then we got to drop the catch away. I mean, it's like baseball. How long are we going to have the DH in one league and not the other? Okay, it's both leagues or get rid of it. Uh, I think you lose some legitimacy. I think you lose some credibility. Okay, talent is talent, like steroids. Uh, you know, it doesn't make you a better player. Okay, it enhances the the uh, recharging of the battery. Mm -hmm. But I think uh, Big J, it's a pleasure to be on your great show, uh, the uh, New York Beacon, formerly the legendary Big Red News. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I kind of agree. But I, I think. It's what's involved. Because, it was, because of what's happening doesn't mean what should be happening. But what you said, JJ, if you can get away with it, you get away with it. But it does, in my opinion, take away from some of the credibility and legitimacy of the game. So what kind of advantage does Cuddle have fighting for a 160-pound 160, 160 title, weighing in at 153.6? What kind of disadvantage is it for Gil to come in at 157? Oh, come on, Jay. You know, you, 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 you want the top guys in business. You know, that, that's what it's all about. It's the advantage. Okay, the little guy gets the advantage. And, and Gail talked about this the other day. He said, you know, and I was taken back how much three pounds can make a difference. But it makes a difference. And what happens here, it's the opposite of the weigh-in the day before the fight. In the old days, you had it the same day of the fight. Right. Now, if you have the guy with the advantage, okay, if I can come in at a certain weight and be the bigger guy, but we're forgetting the fact that you come in as the weaker guy. And Gail talked about this. You know, does he have enough time in his body to regroup? It's, hey, you're the middleweight champ of the world, but you're not fighting middleweight. And you got the guy to fight you who is, would you say, a legit middleweight, comes in weaker. Plus Cotto. Right. Plus Cotto. Tell us where we can find your radio show. Let the people know what time it airs, how they can listen uh, to you on the radio. Sports in Depth on Blog Talk Radio. On the Trust and Guardian Network. Just go to blogtalkradio.com and you'll catch... Uh, the dates and the past shows, and we're still looking for you to come back on that. But, but when we we let you off on the jet game. I ain't seen you then. Man. I, I thought they traded you with Michael Vick. Except, you know. But it's uh, Doc Stanley Sports in Depth uh, on BlogTalkRadio.com, and uh, and you know, come on, get back there with us real soon. And it's been a pleasure. And the great line that Larry Hardy said: "Like live your life today." I just have to stand before God tomorrow. Trust in God. Thanks so much for having me, man. Pleasure. Thanks a lot. One of the legends in, in boxing, Mr. Doc Stanley. Appreciate it.